Time for this week's Furry Friend Finder, when we find a four-legged friend, a forever home. Sandra DeFeo is here from the Humane Society of New York. And who do we have here? Lucy. Yeah, we love Lucy. <laughs> I love Lucy. She loves me. <laughs> She's six years old. Mm -hmm. um, she weighs nine pounds. She's not housebroken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's using wee wee pads, but um, she doesn't shed. I can't say she's hypoallergenic, but we were saying before she doesn't shed. She's actually a mix of seven breeds. Wow. Yeah. Shih Tzu and Poodle don't shed. No. Um, Chihuahua, mm -hmm. uh, Maltese, Pekingese. Uh, she, poodle. Seems, she seems so calm and like a lap dog. Yeah. She oh, definitely she is. is attached to you. Yes. If you aren't by, she's communicative. She doesn't like um, a lot of commotion, and right, that's where right. she came from. Oh, look, she gave mm -hmm. me a little kiss. She did <laughs> give me a kiss. <laughs> she gave a kiss. Yeah. Um, but she, she likes it quiet and uh -huh. more peaceful, but she likes to play with other small dogs. So, But I would say no small children because okay. she does seem a little nervous around loud noises and when she goes outside. What's your sniffing? Oh, she's sniffing? And, and you were saying that she needs to get a haircut maybe, you know, oh, yeah, she, a couple that, times. Yeah. How often? How often do you have to at, cut her? At least season. Well, if you do a shortcut like this That's four good. times a year, but was she and you have to brush her every day. Was she neglected? I mean, yes. It, she was um, matted, and we were lucky Hair of the Dog came and did a little grooming for her and got rid of all the mats. But look, she has a beautiful tail. Yeah, she's got beautiful like coloring, too. Yes. Beautiful eyes, too. Yeah. And so, does she have any medical? Issues? No, no medical issues. She's in great shape that way. Just want to get her into a home where it'll be quieter and less um, hectic than the last mm -hmm. one. Um, and maybe with another small dog, because she does like them. And then she will be, you know, you, obviously you can train her, oh, and yeah. then she's going to be housebroken, I and think then she's going to be a wonderful you know, addition. Uh, absolutely. I think if you have a house maybe in mm -hmm. a quieter area of New York City or in the country, it would be better. But you know, on 59th Street, where we are, it's pretty noisy. Pretty and right, and right. she goes out, but she's not, you know, she's watching yeah. everything, and she it makes her a little nervous, the loud noises. Well, we do have a furry friend finder update. Little Sweet Pea has found her oh. forever home oh my goodness when lucky saw the four pound puppy right here on furry friend finder it was love at first sight she says sweet pea made herself right at home oh, wow. and they are working now on training look at that room that's beautiful sweet and lucky's the lottery a, she's a huge fan of yours john oh yeah we love lucky and lucky when we did the segment during covid she came running over with her little dog i remember, oh, remember lucky. that oh. remember that? I did, I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> and Lucky loves carrying Sweet Pea around yes. wherever she goes. Every, they go everywhere together. That's so sweet. Yeah. I love it. That's she's why four I love pounds. this segment. It's easy. And, she, and <laughs> Lucy's only nine pounds, so she's quite small too. Yeah, she, she travels cute. too. <laughs> All right, for more information Aww. on Furry Look Friend Finder, one. just head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back. Thank